Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we tied up a bunch of loose ends, going all across Hyrule. We were up over by the, uh, the Korok Forest. We were over by the, uh, in the Lanera region. We were in South Nekluda. We were everywhere. And we were even actually at the Great Pr Plateau by the end of the episode. And this time, we're going to be going south to a entirely new area. But first, I've wanted to tie up this loose end for a long time. And I'm kind of done avoiding enemies unless they're weak and not worth my time. After the the trial of the sword, I I've come to find that I can beat pretty much anything. And so today, we are going to be beating let's See, do I have any attack bu attack boosts? Yeah, this will work. Let's eat that, and I'm going to eat these. There was a Lynel over here, which I avoided on the grounds that it was a, it was not a base Lynel. And so I've wanted to defeat this for a long time, and so I think we're going to start. Is this Silvermane? I don't think this is Silvermane. We've faced one of these kinds before, but I want to face it again. Booyah! Booyah! Drop down. All right, let's get this started. This time, I do not have Druk's protection. I have actually turned it off uh, because it's kind of a crutch at times. Oh, backflip! Whoa! And I'm also not using the Master Sword, so this is a, a really good test to see how good I am. Oh, that's probably something I could shield bash. Backflip! Whoa! Get in there! Flurry rushes are better than shield bashes, even though shield bashes have a much stricter timing, which I'm not a fan of. Oh, I got hit. Uh, let's... The next hit will kill, so let's just down some of my spare foods. Okay. Wow, the timing on that is so forgiving. I flurry rushed right as he was, like, near me, not, not even about to hit me. Ah, I missed the shield bash timing. That's one thing I, I do want to get. That's By the end of the game, I want to be shield bashing most enemies instead of flurry rushing them. Okay, there's his fire attack. I don't think I'll be able to even... Yeah, because there's no grass, I won't be able to get an updraft, so not able to use that. Oh, he hit me again. I should not be chugging food. I should be beating this guy. Oh. Come on. There! That's the timing. With my badly damaged shield. That's not the timing. Uh, chump some food? I have so much of this. Snacks. Whew! Shoot him with that. Okay, what's this attack? More fire attacks? Just more of these? Ow. There's a brief updraft. Oh. This is good. Oh, this is good. This is probably going to finish him off. And it is. Oh, cool. We did it. Let me get some good items. Well, neat. That's a good way to start off the episode. And it's it's a great way to start off the episode because we get great gear moving into the new area. Sheik's Mask. Finally. It is a... About time that I've gotten this from the Sheik Amiibo. I've been rolling them every single episode, every recording session, and with the hopes of getting this. So now, my, let's see, my Sheik gear does four. And I think that the Sheik mask is better. I mean, not in terms of defense, but it also looks cooler. But I'm pretty sure it does, it has a higher stealth bonus. So we have it. Awesome! I'll probably die it off screen sometime. I got Wolf Link, I got my awesome Lionel shield, and of course there are travelers that need my help. We're about to head into a new region, which I think we're heading also towards one of the story regions, so these are all good things. Also, I have so many shock arrows that I might as well just <laughs> burn through them. I have 140. Yes, hello. Do you, what what do you have for me? Tough much mushroom omelet. I'll take it. Goodbye. 
don't don't get into trouble again or I will kill you myself. All right, Sarjan or Saryon Bridge. Will this still be a jungle-esque area is my question. It appears to be so, so just an extension of Nekluda, maybe? And the only people that we haven't seen thus far of the the Hylian of the Hylian roster are the let's see, the uh Rito. You wanna see a dragon? Well that's neat. I I've seen plenty of them. I've almost ridden them too. It's fun. Okay, goodbye. I don't need to bother with that. But uh, the the Gerudo, which we have seen in this game, we just haven't seen the the actual like you know Gerudo peoples. What is over here? Is that Cass? Does he have? Oh really? I did not know that. That's neat. Also, whoa, these these fireflies. I need a bunch of these to upgrade my gear. So let's let's just grab all of these. Okay, Cass, what do you have for me? The forest dragon. A visitor so deep in the forest? Ooh. Ah, we meet again. I trust you're doing well. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear it? Oh. Yes. Excellent. Without further ado, ado, where the forest dragon splays its jaws. A shrine sleeps with noble cause. Is that it? That's it. The forest dragon? I've never seen a dragon in the forest around these parts. Though I suppose the forest from the song could be Damel Forest, north of here. There's definitely a secret lying in wait. It's just a matter of tracking it down. May the light illuminate your path. We got a shrine quest, which I will not bother with until... Why is there a donkey? I will not bother with until we get to the, the tower. Which is this way, I guess. Which is uh, presum which is also coincidentally where our our sensor is leading us. So if we find it along the way, great. If not, then we'll we'll start at the tower and work our way. Which I think I saw. I think I can see it. Wait a minute. Is that it up that hill? I'm pretty sure I saw the. Oh, it's right here. Oh. Well, that makes things simple. Uh, you know what? Let's let's knock it out. Why backtrack when we can just do it on the way? A minor minor test of strength. Is this even worth showing my viewers time? I it might be. It's it's in a new area, so it may it may be the equivalent of a major test of strength from like the the Hetano village area, but it looks like it's not. Uh, as always, spears are are pretty pretty good. Come on. Wow, that's... Man, like I said in the last episode, since the, the trial, things have just felt so easy. In fact, he's dead. He, ne he attacked once. I skipped two, or I skipped his phase. I skipped, like, one entire phase because I killed him so quickly. I don't even need his stuff. That was preposterous. Okay. I guess I'm stat checking enemies now at this point in the game. I'm so far ahead of the curve that that it just some things are irrelevant. In fact, I probably won't even keep this. Yeah, it's a boomerang with attack up. That's not even relevant anymore. Man, but I mean, I guess the spirit orb is always relevant. In fact, I know what I'm going to be using this for. I need to upgrade my stamina again. Well, that was that wasn't that big of a detour. Hey, Sif, buddy, thank you. You are the best. Also, he only has three spurs for at the moment for some reason. Is that going to change? That's not changing. Are you are you seeing this, guys? Fair on woods. Oh, fair on woods. <gasps> yeah. But what, what is happening with Sif's spurs? Do you see this glitch? I'm not going to boost him just to see how long this hap this takes to change because right now here, let's let's boost them once and see if they regen. Whoa, I had what? Okay, that's an odd bug. It's a really odd bug. Okay, so there's our what? What is up there? Just a tree. Okay. Uh, can we take Sif up this? 
That would be great. If I could just kind of... I doubt I could, but with horse steps, the, the thing where you... You target, I might be able to. No, no, no. There. Oh, I think he can do this. Mm, don't fall. Don't fall, buddy. No, I, I don't think you can make it. Okay. Let's let's not make you fall. You you do you stay there. I don't need to take you up here. What is up there? Some boards. And I guess stealth mode? Oh boy. No, don't blow the horn. Die, thank you. Okay, somehow the other enemies did not see that. But it doesn't matter if I can just make my way past them. Stealth build, man. Stealth build. It's really the way to go. Is that a chest? That is a chest. What is that little, little lonely old chest doing here? With ten arrows in it. But thank you. I appreciate that. And the lake tower. Huh. What lake? Lake... We've already been to Lake Floria. Is it... I don't know what lake this could be. Lake Hylia? We've been to Lake Hylia, haven't we? Right? Lake Hylia is over... Mount Hylia, but I guess we haven't been to Lake Hylia. It's not over here. This isn't Lake Hylia. Maybe this is Lake Hylia. That'd be... That'd be something if we'd been this many episodes in and not even spotted Lake Hylia. I mean, I, I don't know. I... Not, not much of the topography is similar to other games, although that looks like the Bridge of Elden. Doesn't it? Have we been to the Bridge of Elden? I don't... I don't know if we've been to the Bridge of Elden. I thought we were there, and it was like... It was really lame. And it did not... It looked nothing like the Bridge of Elden. Let's climb up. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're... I mean, that would make sense. The Bridge of Elden near Lake Hylia... Not because it was there in previous games, but just because, I don't know, it, it makes sense for two iconic locations like that to be sim to be so close. Let's find out what this area is called. I assume it would just be the Farron region, but who knows, we might be surprised. Okay, that has to be Lake Hylia. It actually matches. It looks very much like it did in Toilet Princess. That that has to be. Is it? La yeah, Lake Hylia. It's about time that we were here. Let's remove this pin. Aw, oh, this is nice. Lake of the Horse God. Ooh. Fair on Sea? Aw, oh, man. Twilight Princess, sign me up. Sign me up for Toilet Princess. All right, so it looks like... If we keep going the path we were at, actually we were just about to round the corner, it looks like we'll reach Lake Hylia. And that's that's the first place I want to go. We can explore other things later. I, I want to see Lake Hylia. Oh, is that, is that a chest? I believe that is a chest. No, that's a torch. Where is... Sif is down there. You know, let's start walking and let Sif work his own way over to getting to us. Whoa! Watch out. Watch where you're going. My, my horse will kill you. Oh, it looks like he he spared you for now. This has to be Bridge of Elden. This looks just like it. Come on. Come on, Sif. What's this? Just some spikes and a normal moblin. Oh, this is it. Bridge of Hylia, but even still, this looks almost just like the bridge from, from Twilight Princess. Oh, what's up here? And we're actually, are we heading? Yeah, we kind of are heading back to, uh, to discovered regions. Yeah, you can just die. What's over here? A shrine? Kind of? Something over there, an island. And some stuff over there. I just want to ride to the other side just to look. Just to say I did. And then we can, we can go back. It looks like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Uh, 
The Korok, I guess. A really lame Korok location. Oh wait, no. We have oh we have shots. Okay. I can do this. Fly. Fly. Ooh, 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 ooh. There it is. That's the shot. That's the money shot. And it is swoosh. Looks like there's a, a fortress over there, which I really don't need to bother with. They're low-level enemies, so let's let's ignore that. And instead, there's probably also something on the top of this bridge. But for now, let's go over to the, the elephant in the room. Let's go over to that that island. And I assume we could just kind of let's just fly to it. Should be able to fly most of the way there. And we're getting a shrine, a shrine indicator, so it there's there's something here. There has to be. Whether it's a boss or a shrine, there's something here. Maybe a boss and a shrine. You never know. I can't be I also can't believe it took us this long to discover Lake Hylia. I mean, I know this game isn't linear, so we could have discovered this right from the get-go. Like, this could have been the very first area we ever discovered. But I would have thought that we would have uncovered it by now. Or even that the, the Zora, you know, the, the Zora peoples, they, you know, they were here, you know? It would make sense that the... Oh, really? That the iconic water area is where the Zoras would have been. But no, it looks like they saved that for later. Purple Rupee. Not bad. Not bad. So there are a bunch of little fringe islands. Hopefully this is different from... Well, I, I know it is different from Makar Island. That was just a big red herring that did nothing. This, on the other hand, has a something on it, maybe. Oh, there it is. Right in the center of the island. Uh, Yama Yanaga Shrine. Shatter the Heavens. I was expecting a major test of strength, but it looks like instead we're getting a, ooh, we're getting something that we need to, I guess throw bombs into? Uh, wrong bomb. Maybe, hmm. That won't do it. Oh, I know, I, I know what we need to do. The, this makes sense. Because the, these kind of blocks have never shattered anything before. We need to do a two-parter here. Get up there, Link. So drop this in. Blow it up. Immediately switch over to my... Wait, what? That was... Did I do it premature? I think I did the premature bomb activation. So, take two. That's what we needed. And then we just throw in this bomb again and climb to the top and ride this thing up there we're gonna get launched into the sky Woo! and that's not it there here I need to actually go back down I think and chest with an eightfold eight, a durability up blade which I don't actually want so this was just a, a very quick puzzle. I would have thought that we would have to build upon that mechanic, but nope. Looks like this is a bit of an early shrine. I guess we can go back the way we came, maybe? Which would mean climbing all the way back up, but I, I see no other option. Alternatively, there is another small islet on the opposite end of the lake, of Lake Hylia. So we could go to that. In fact, I think I will. Wait a minute. Oh, there's a Zora. Big catch, big catch. Good day. What lovely weather we're having. What are you doing? I'm catching fish. They'll sell in no time flat at the general store in Zora's Domain. Zora's Domain? Yeah, we're pretty far away right now, but there are a lot of rare fish to catch here, so it's a lot of fun. Okay, I'm glad I got to see Azora at Lake Hylia. That that would have been annoying if the the biggest water area, like the biggest lake, the most iconic lake in the game, had no no water people there. It just had Lizalfos. Alphos. 
Whoa. Okay. Never seen something like this before. This is a really odd one. Uh, right here. Drop. But yeah, that's indeed a Korok seed. And he's come to the finish line. He's come to the finish line. He's at the lead of the pack with the invisible horses that he's racing with. And goal! Okay, so where to next? We're, we need to backtrack. I guess we actually do need to backtrack because the mountains, which I talked about climbing, they're in another region. So we definitely have to backtrack, go into this lake, which looks really weird. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, Demel Forest, but probably first we're going to go to the south, the southern region of of the Faron, of the Faron, uh, Woods. So let's do that. And it looks like we're also locking onto a shrine, which is straight ahead. Oh, wow. This thing's blazing. Right there. I guess it's because it's part of a stable? A stable with bandits right outside of it. Highland Stable. What is... This is a weird location for one, just because there are enemies right outside. Hello, Beetle. Why has got to rain? There are no rumor mills here. Tracy has nothing to say about this area. You again, what are the chances? What are you looking for? What are you selling? I probably have something with his Mario voice. I'll, I'll take these. Oh, fireflies. I need all of those. Yes, thank you. And Octobloons, you know what? I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them because I've been using them more often of late. And... I've been running out, so they're useful for some Korok seeds, they're useful for miscellaneous things, and that's all I really need. Okay, so let's take a look at this shrine. It's right front and center. You can't miss it. In fact, th that's probably why they put the, the stable here. I mean, with other shrines, a lot of the times they're a bit muted, like they're in the background or they're in a cave, as we've seen recently, but this one is... Is probably just a flag for for travelers they see this on the horizon and they say hey I want to go there and sadly we're about to turn it blue which means it'll probably be less uh, distinguishable against the the day daytime sky but eh. metal doors open the way so we pull yeah we pull uh, slip through Metal doors open the way, huh? This is... I'm expecting enemy... Yeah, I knew it. Whoa! He poked me. There are some enemies in here. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. This is the best thing ever. Are you... Oh, this is great. It's the... It's the one time. The one time when you flip a coin and it stays upright. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. This pillar is perfectly balanced. What are the odds of a perfectly balanced pillar? This is the... You know what? I, I, I was going to say, it's gonna, it's sad because when I leave here, I'll, I'll lose its memory. But no, I have a camera. I'm taking pictures of this. Look at this. Can I, t I can take selfies, right? Self-portrait? Uh, let's line this up a little bit better. This is the coolest thing. Yeah, do this, and I can pose, right? Uh, yeah. Look at it! Oh, wait. Oh, this is perfect. Look at this thing. Yeah. This, this is, the, this is literally the coolest thing in the game. I'm, I think, I think I have enough pictures. That is so cool! Like, what are the odds? What are the odds of that happening? I'm so happy. Okay. That's that's the uh, sorry, I'm getting I'm getting such a big kick out of this, but it really is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh hello. You time to die. Whoa. Okay. And now we have another metal door. Fling it open. Whoa. No, fling it open. And stay open. There. So what are we What what on earth? What on earth and why? 
This really just makes these doors useless, doesn't it? In fact, this door has no reason to be here anymore. Like, why? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's, that's why. Okay, we need the door. Well, okay. Weird way of doing it, but they give us a door. My inventory's full. Well, that was a royal bow with a stat, so I should probably just drop this royal bow and pick up this one. It's it's strictly better, so I might as well. Durability up. Like, I don't have a bunch of those. So what we're doing now is we're using that one block. This one? Kind of, I guess. We're using it as a bridge, so... We have this sorted, we just get up here, and I... You know, let's go to this one that... Wait, 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 actually, no. Let, let, let's go to this one. If only because I think I'll be able to use it here. To get up here, maybe. No? Nope, not big enough. Okay. Well, I tried. And then there's this. It's been a while since we've played with with metal s sheets like this. Using them for for ramps or bridges. It's been a long time. Oh, we... Oh, okay, we need it again. Let's grab the door. Kind of rotate it. Oh, wait. Oh, this works too. Yeah. And then we can just get up onto the thing. Opal. And we can just, uh fly over here, grab the door, and kind of jankily place it like that. Will that work? I think that'll work. Nice. And always, as always, I have to do this. I have to check behind the guy. There's been one time where it's paid off, but that doesn't mean it won't pay off again. Also, that is the coolest thing. Just, just saying, because we're going to lose sight of it, and I want to see it one more time. So we don't have much time left in the episode, but we have enough that I want to go... I want to go over to... not to the, the headlands, because I, I think... I've heard rumors of the horse god, and I, I think that needs to be its own episode. I could also catch horses, but not until you guys tell me that those horses are worth it. Uh, instead... I need to circle this lake. What is it called again? Heron Lake? I need to circle Heron Lake, and I want to go exploring and hopefully find the Ordon region. That would be cool, because they've always been buddy-buddy. So if I could find Ordon Village, maybe that's a thing. You never know. Uh, am I taking... Nope. Uh, that direction is the horse god. Yeah, so we want to go to the right. So going over this way, there is the electric dragon. And then I also, you know, looking at this, we may very well stumble across one of the the uh, fountains. It's it's kind of in the cards. We've been, we found a, a dragon scale. I think we have gotten a dragon scale. Also, there's a boss, so we can tackle that. In fact, let me, let's go do that. You. It's almost morning, but doesn't mean I don't have enough time to defeat you. And you know what? Actually, I, I need to get this battle axe out of my inventory. Can his health bar please show up? Please? Health bar? Yeah. Oh, uh, you. Got him. His eyes down. Got an axe. Axes are the best for taking out these guys because it's a constant hitbox. And Skirbloosh. And I need to stay sit. No. Stasis. Oh, that does not work. Did yeah, that didn't really work. Uh, actually I should be able to just kill him now. Maybe. He's kind of locked. Come on, I need to knock out his eye. There. And kill it! Perfect. You know what? Let's just throw this away. Since I'm going to get a better weapon. I got a another... You know, I don't want the Royal Broadsword. They're great, but... Actually, no, I don't I don't even want this. 
I'm going to take the giant boomerang because those are fun. All right, so where are we going? I need to go back up to the top of the hill. Yes, I know the episode's almost over, but I want to get this this area explored. I want to go across this path and see what, what is around. I, I kind of expected us to getting right to be getting right into a story quest. But instead we're just wandering the countryside. What is this place? It has it has a U. Here, let's let's kill him on the horse. Let's actually you know what let's stay on the horse. We we've never done this before. Move horse. Can you path for me, please? Got him. Okay, circle around. And I should have a spear, maybe. I'm Because I'm using a boomerang. Yeah, I have a, a halberd. Okay, we haven't done much horse-mounted combat, and... I'm not saying... And it, it's not even because we haven't had opportunities. It's just... We haven't gotten around to it. You. Can you... Circle me around? Thank you. Oh! Don't die! Don't die, Sif! Don't die! You did great! You did great! Maybe that's why I haven't done horse bounty combat. And it's because I'm so much better on my feet. And you can't get flurry rushes on a horse. There, got him. And there's another moblin. I thought I killed you. You, and now he is. Okay. And now you. Oh, it looks like we have multiple... Oh, there are two fortresses here. There's... Because I saw the chest somewhere. I thought it was up on one of the, the ledges, or on one of these towers. Okay, so let's go inside. Oh, it has a normal chest, which we can just grab. What is in this normal chest? Bomb arrows? Oh, that's nice. Bomb arrows are rare. Shock arrows are common. We, can, we actually have an unlimited resource of ancient arrows, which are even more powerful. But bomb arrows are... Very rare. Is that... Was that my destination for this episode? I think it was. I mean, we could go over to the plains, I guess. But otherwise, I don't really see another place that we should be going with our limited amount of time. Good job, Sif. Weaving in between those trees. Should probably also heal him when the episode ends. Some people there. Yeah. And some planes, which presumably has another boss because they always have bosses. They always have like a stone talus or something. And this one, I think I even see the stone talus, right? Right front and center. Or a guardian. We haven't even seen a guardian recently. Or it has another fortress on it? Looks like it has another fortress on it. Well, you know what? I'm going to end the episode here and just do this in the end slate. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any ca in any capacity, please click like. Uh, if you want to see me go to a, a specific location in the Faron region, wow, just a big stamp of Faron there. Okay, in the Faron region, tell me. Uh, otherwise, next episode we're going to be skirting this this countryside, this this shoreline, in the hopes of finding some shrines and maybe even uncovering what is the lake of the horse god is all about. Otherwise, I'm going to tackle this, this fortress, and I will see you guys next time for another episode of Pal Plays Breath of the Wild. See you guys then. Stop it! This thing's so annoying. Stop! Oh my word. Leave. This thing's had me hard locked, like stun locked for so long. Yeah, <laughs> you could bring you could bring back shot. That's true, or you could bring back heart. Hmm. I tell this horse died due to an unexpected accident. Worry not. This happens from time to time. The horse. <laughs>